PyGoat is a vulnerable web application which is developed using Django and it covers the OS top 10 vulnerabilities. In today's video, we are going to explore the A1 injection. A1 injection comprises of SQL injection and command injection. In this video, we will see how to solve the SQL injection and command injection lab. On clicking the SQL injection, the user is redirected to a login page. The user needs to either create an account or use the OAuth feature of Google to log in. On successful creation and logging in, he would be redirected to the welcome page and he'll be able to access the SQL labs, I mean, uh, further labs. So let's get started with the SQL injection. So on clicking the SQL injection, you get to see a, a small short note on what is SQL injection. And there's a button called lab details and, and mitigation. Let's click the lab details. So once you uh, click the lab details, you can see there is a, a walkthrough as well as explanation of how the exploit is going to work so let's get started with the lab and see what the lab what the lab is okay on clicking the access the lab you can see here uh, you are redirected to an admin panel kind of a login login page where it says can you log in as admin so yeah let's the main aim of this lab is to log in as admin so how do you do that first let's give some random name let's say talk and tick and see how this how the web page reacts to this username and password so it says user not found okay so as it says since uh, as it asks as the web page asks can you log in as admin let's give the username as admin and a random password let's say the usual password which is admin admin okay as you can see uh, the username is correct but the password you have entered does not match the username this uh, shows that uh, the, there's a user called admin and you have to try to guess the password. Since it's an SQL, SQL injection lab, you could refer to the walkthrough and, uh, and figure out what's the payload going to be. So first, let's try to identify uh, how an SQL injection uh, vulnerability is present here, first of all. So let's type in admin here. And let's give a, a admin with a single quote or it may be a double code depends so you have to try either single code or a double code so in case if there is any error let's say again so yeah as you can see here there is an error at a at an sql query so this means that that's going to be an sql injection uh, since the debug feature is on here, you could see all the details, but usually there won't be this much this, this much details. This just shows an SQL error or some kind of error happened when you enter a single code. So, so this proves that there is an SQL injection bug right in front of you. So let's get started on exploiting the bug. So we are going to use a very simple payload, which you can go check around uh, in the lab details. So all you have to do is write the username as admin and use this payload, which is one or one comma is equal to one so uh, the explanation of the payload is also given in the lab details but in order to give a small gist so what it does what this payload does is uh, it, it 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 asks the sql query to select a username which is admin and its his password is going to be one or anything that is true so whatever the value is going to be it's always going to be true so that's why it allows us to log in so yeah let's use this payload make sure there's no space here and i've used the payload here i'm not okay let me try to show you the password okay. since it's password let's put it as text yeah as you can see here so this is the payload which i'm going to put it in the password field and let's see what happens when i click login yeah now it says you have logged in as admin so this is the SQL injection lab. This is a very basic, basic SQL injection and we'll be adding more kind of SQL injection labs for you to explore. Okay, now let's talk about command injection. Okay, it's the same scenario where, uh, where you get to know about what is command injection and some mitigation details. And when you click the lab details, you can see uh, details about the lab and exploitation of the bug and also understanding the cost behind the exploit. So all the details is given in the lab details here. So let's just let's just get started with the lab. 
on clicking access lab you 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 land up in a page where it says name server lookup so name server lookup is nothing but an ns lookup which helps you to find more details about a domain here first just uh, basically try to uh, give some domains like google.com and see what it actually does so currently the server is running in linux so i'm going to put linux here go and after some times as you can see it gives it throws out some kind of information regarding google.com and it says some header and some codes and stuff like that so let's explore what it is so it basically it uses the dig command uses the dig command uh, which is an ubuntu which is a dig command and gives the server ip address uh, it's a similar one so how how uh, an commandization is possible in such a scenario is so let's say a user tries to enter something like this google.com and use the ampersand and give and and give some com linux commands like ls so this is a valid command because uh if you go to your terminal and just type in any command let's say dig google.com and you use the ls both google.com as well as the um, ls gets executed so if uh if there is a command injection bug present in uh in in the server this should give us a directory listing as well as the answer for the google i mean dig for the google.com let's go once you click go you can see here there is some additional information like 404.html and db.sqlite and docker compose.yml and stuff like this so this is basically the ls command which is running and after the command is finished you can see there is the dig command so this is basically the command injection lab